Jean. And I'm Georgie. And we also call ourselves the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. <laughs> so Happy New Year, it's 2022. I know we haven't been around lately making our cooking videos. We've been teaching on Zoom, but we're back. And we have such a yummy, comforting recipe to start your new year. What are we gonna make, Georgie? A yummy, creamy mushroom soup. And this is from Dr. Joel Furman, mm -hmm. Nutritarian Diet, right? And I just want to remind you, he's got this great acronym called G-Bombs, which he says if you eat these foods every day, you're going to have such wonderful health, great immunity, anti-cancer protection. And in this soup, we hit almost all the G-Bombs, which mm -hmm. stands for G for greens, beans, uh, onions, mushrooms, berries, and nuts and seeds. And the mm -hmm. only things that we're not doing in this one are the greens and the berries. Uh -huh. But have a little side salad with a little fruit on top and you'll hit all the yep. G-bombs. Mm -hmm. Yep, you'll hit them all. So this is honestly a truly delicious soup and we hope you're going to try it. So are we ready to get going? We're ready. Let's do it. All right. I'll see you back on the other side. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, everyone, let's get started on this creamy mushroom soup. I'm going to tell you the ingredients first before I get started on anything else. We have cashews, which are raw. We have hemp's, hemp hearts, cannellini beans, and I've rinsed. This is one can here, and I've rinsed all of the much that I could off of them. Then we have the wild rice. We get that from Trader Joe's. We have coconut aminos. We're going to have thyme, black pepper red onions, carrots, celery, garlic, and mushrooms. And the bouillon that we're using is called Better Than Bouillon. And it's one teaspoon for eight ounces of hot water. And that's what I have. There's seven cups here. And that's what I'm gonna start with. If we want to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stove first. I'm gonna put it on. I'd say a medium high. Then I'm gonna take my broth. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit because it's been sitting. And look how thick and rich that looks. It's really thick looking. So I'm gonna pour that in there. Now what we want to do is get that boiling before we do anything else. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to chop up my vegetables. Let me move this out of the way. I'm going to start with the red onion. Slice off the ends. Both ends. And then you just want to go through the first layer of skin that you can peel off. You don't want to waste a lot of it. There you go. Voila. You want to make sure you take that skin off because it can be it can be really tough and nobody wants to chew that. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop this up. There's two ways to do it. You can slice it down the middle and do it this way. at an angle and then turn it nice little chopped onions oops missed a piece there the other way that I do it is this way I'm try to keep it all together oh sometimes it doesn't work didn't work that time <laughs> and Georgie, for this recipe, can you use any kind of you, onion? Yes, uh, I, I wouldn't use the sweet onion. I would use yellow onions or red onions. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the pot, get it off my thing, off my uh, cutting board. And as if you notice, I have a little paper towel here underneath my cutting board. It keeps it from sliding. It's a little, it, I put a little bit of moisture on it. It just keeps it from moving. Uh, then I'm gonna go with my carrots and I'm just gonna dice these up. So we're just gonna cut these 
We want a blotch. Lengthwise, down the middle. About quarter inch cubes, maybe a little bit bigger, it doesn't matter. Oops. <laughs> and we don't peel our carrots because they're organic and we want to get all the nutrients mm. in the peel. I have to say though, in this last bag of organic carrots, there Oof. were a lot of those light ones in. The yellow you ones. See, yeah, are you there on the this cutting? One yeah. Here. And I was kind of thinking, hmm, you know, that's not as brightly colored as the orange or the red. And we always learn that, you know, we want to eat for color because our antioxidants help make up that color. And so I was kind of wondering if the yellow is as nutritious as the others. I don't really well, know for sure the answer. Okay. I like the purple ones. They're, they're, I think the purple ones are so, so neat looking. It's like... Look at that. It's like it's like an artist mm -hmm. little thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll finish these. Remember, always protect your fingers. This knuckle here is the one that you want to protect. Or I mean that's your protector. As you can see. When I do it, I got that knuckle there. I don't have my fingers out this way. I have that knuckle there. So that's your protector. Let me put this in the pot. And then we're gonna do our celery. Oops. Just about the same size. There's your carrots. Oh, a little Celery is just so healthy for us, and I know a lot of us just don't eat it by itself very much, so I love when we have recipes that includes it. And As you can see, I, I put I, it in my salad. Right. As you can see, I'm just going from top I mean bottom to top to make a slice. Cut that in half, pull that around there so that I can do this all at one time. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Next thing is we're gonna do the wheat berries. Where did my, oh, oh no, we're not doing wheat berries, we're gonna do rice. This is the wild rice we get from Trader Joe's. It's it's a nice and dark, look at that. I've rinsed it and washed it already. Gonna go ahead and put that in. Right, so this recipe uh, gave a choice between wild rice and wheat berries. Right. <laughs> so today we decided to use the wild rice. And originally I started, I started with wheat berries and then we went, Okay, let's do the wild rice, so. Okay, my next thing will be a teaspoon of coconut aminos. And one thing what you wanna do is always make sure that you shake up your bottles because a lot of residue will, if they sit for even a week, a lot of the uh, ingredients will settle at the bottom with tamari or coconut aminos. Just shake them really good so that you get the good flavor out of that. Because, you know, most of it, like I said, it'll just, Gonna do a teaspoon of that. Okay, and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of dried thyme. And what I wanna do with my thyme is I wanna go ahead and, and crush it up a little bit in, in, in my little Crusher here. What do you call it? Mortar, mortar, mortar and pestle. Oh, I forget. Pestle. Right now. Mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. So I just, I just want to crush it up so that I get mo a lot more flavor than just leaving it whole. Mortar and pestle. <laughs> we'll do 
that a couple times. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Our garlic, we're gonna do, we have four heads or four cloves of garlic here. I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is just chop off each end. Now what I like to do with my garlic is I like to take it and take two or three of the heads and open them up and take all of the skin off so that the skin, or not all the skin, I'm sorry, uh, break them up so that the skin dries off of the garlic a little bit faster. It's easier to take off. And today we're going for what, chopped garlic? Right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the cheese grater. Oh, that's more like yeah. minced. Yeah, we're gonna oh, go we're ahead not and do the, it. Yeah, we're no, we're gonna go ahead and do the cheese grater. Those four. Okay, I use this. This is the same as chopping. It's just a lot easier and faster. You just take it. Go up and down, oops, on the small side of your cheese grater. Now, if we were doing live TV uh, right now, for this video, uh, and Georgie wasn't showing you how he did that, we would actually let that garlic sit out for 10 minutes before right. we put it in the pot. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we have time to do that or not with live, but that helps create a chemical reaction where you get more of the nutrients. Right, so there you go, chopped garlic using the cheese grater, you know? We don't and, eat cheese, but. <laughs> and actually that was, was the same thing with the onions. When we're not doing something live like that, we would let our onions, we cut them and also let them sit out for about 10 minutes. Yes. And we've learned that from Dr. Michael Greger at NutritionFacts.org. <laughs> okay, let me uh, get a thing here to stir this up. If you want to kind of come over here, we'll just kind of show you what it looks like. It's already starting to get hot. Look at all that color. Mm-hmm. And the aroma is just great with the thyme in there. Hmm. Yes. Okay, we're gonna let that go ahead and go get to a boil, and then I'll I'll show you here how to uh, how I'm gonna do my mushrooms. As you can see, they're just sliced. I'd say a quarter of an inch thick. I got I got five of them here. I'll just show you how I did it. I cleaned them off. It, it, I don't really use water on them. I just use a, a towel and wipe them off to get whatever is on them. About a quarter of an inch thick. Just simple and easy. There's other ways too that you can do it. Is you can you can do them in a dice, which would be something like this. But this mushroom, this recipe called for sliced mushrooms. Right. So we're just gonna do slices. But like I said. Diced is fine. Uh, one of the mushrooms that we really like is uh, the king oyster mushrooms. And when you cut those up in little small pieces and you use them in this soup, it give, gives you that uh, uh, little bite texture. You know, I, I can't explain that. Okay, we're gonna put these over here. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here to our blender. This is a vit over here at the Vitamix. Okay, we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of cashews. These are raw cashews. I didn't soak them because we have a Vitamix. And if you don't have a Vitamix and you just have a regular blender, soak them for an hour or so in hot water and it'll soften them up enough where you can use them to do this. So we'll do that. We have our hemp seeds, which is a quarter cup of hemp seeds. Oop. 
more teaspoon of black pepper right here. No, no, no not or a eight, teaspoon. Eighth of a teaspoon of black I pepper. I say that because Denise here doesn't like a lot of pepper. Okay. And so eighth of a teaspoon. Yeah, very little. <laughs> We're not going strong today. <laughs> and then I have the one can of cannellini beans rinsed to get all the salt and whatever, all, all that off of there. The one cup of vegetable broth that we made with the bouillon, and that makes a total of eight cups. For the recipe. For the recipe, yes. Okay, let's see, let me read my thing here. Okay, then we're gonna blend this. It's gonna be quiet for a minute. On high. is ready I'm gonna let this cook for 30 minutes we'll come back and add the rest of it into that pot and we'll be ready to eat well when do the mushrooms go in they go in with the sauce oh so they go in yes this has got to cook for 30 minutes now do we cover that yes I'm gonna, rice? I'm gonna, that I just want to show you as it's coming to boil before I cover it Look at all that color. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is get this to boil and then we're gonna turn it down for a simmer, right? right? For like right. 30 minutes. Right. We're gonna get it boiling and then we're gonna turn it down. Okay, so we'll just stop right now? Yes. Okay. So. Okay, everyone. Our soup's been simmering a little bit over 30 minutes. Next thing I'm gonna do is add my mushrooms and the blender mix that I did here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up if you wanna show Come over here a little bit closer and I'll show them what I mean by simmering. That's simmering, not boiling, but that's simmering. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my mushrooms. Mix that around a little bit. And those are criminy mushrooms, by the way. Baby bellas is what they're- The same thing. Right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this, the mix. Every bit of that that I can. Oops, and I did taste this. It is it is very tasty. I'll just tell you everybody, the, the original recipe, by the way, uh, is said for the black pepper to be put in the soup pot, but Georgie put it in the blender. Oops, it won't make any difference. Let me go ahead and fix this here. Gonna get everything out that I can. It's just easier for me to do it this way. So between those hemp seeds and the cashews and the cannellini beans, you're going to have some creamy, wonderful tasting soup. All right. Go ahead and mix that up. And we're going to simmer this for another 15 minutes. Get the rest of the rice, look at that. Mm. And everybody should remember uh. that mushrooms are part of the G-bombs, right? Joel Furman's mm -hmm. acronym for the foods we want to eat every day for wonderful immunity, anti-cancer protection, and all the great things that these plants give us. So look at that, look at how creamy yeah, the Yeah, actually we have onions in here too, that's another G-bomb. Mm -hmm. We so, got beans in here, that's another G-bomb. This is like a great G-bomb soup. So let's go ahead and cover this and partially up. partially cover, partially. Oh, partially. That's yeah, right. He, he, he and I'll just kind of tilt the lid a little bit. That's all you have to do. Like that. So leave a little air. We'll give it for 15 minutes and we'll come back and serve it up.
So <laughs> that sounds good to me because it, it smelled good. All right. Okay. Okay, everyone. It cooked the extra 15 minutes once I added the, the mushrooms and the sauce that I made there. Let's just go ahead and check this out, Denise. If you want to see what it looks like, look at all that. It oh looks just absolutely delicious. Nice and creamy. Yeah, wow. So, <clears throat> Let's bring it up here. Nice chunks of mushrooms. Mm. This is a this is a win. This is a very very good recipe. Mm. Either that or I'm just hungry, but it is very good. What do you think right about? Here. I think the wild rice is the hit versus wheat berries. I like wheat berries, however, the rice gives it a different kind of a texture. Mm, it's a hit. It's a win. Okay. Okay. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed watching Georgie make that wonderful soup. It's good, huh? I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get, rid get done with this video so I can eat some more of this delicious soup. It was, it was a hit. Me too. I, I can't wait either. But before we go, I just want to say thank you. Because we the way I got this recipe was through an email from Dr. Michael Claffer. And I don't know if all of you know who he is, but uh, he's been one of the plant-based doctors that's been around for a while. And I just love this guy. Every time he talks, all I ever feel like is, gosh, I wish I could sit down and have a meal with him because he just exudes like all this kindness and sweetness and positivity. Compassion. He's just, yes, compassion. He's just, I feel like an amazing a person. But I just want to tell you like what he's been doing because it's such a great thing. So some of you might know that doctors really don't learn nutrition in medical school. And so they have to learn it on their own. And what Dr. Michael Claffer is doing with also the folks at Plant Peer Communities is that they are trying to reach medical students and start right away getting them knowledgeable about plant-based nutrition. So Dr. Claffer is lecturing at medical schools and then he's conducting interviews with a lot of wonderful plant-based doctors in the specialties so that then he can share those interviews with the medical residents too so we can get a whole new crop of early doc new doctors who know about plant-based nutrition. I think that's wonderful. And if you want to know more about that, just go to Dr. Uh, Clapper's website. It's drclapper.com, completely spelled out, D-O-C-T-O-R. K-L-A-P-E-R.com. And you can look at his for his Medicine Moving Forward initiative to learn more. So I just wanted to share that with you because I think it's just a wonderful initiative. So until next time, everybody, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we also call ourselves a happy, happy vegan, vegan couple. couple. We go hope you'll go plant-based and optimize your health. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.